Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli and today our topic is how to create Zoho CRM contact for Google Ads lead. So I'm using Google Ads for promoting my business and now what I want is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically by using the detail of that lead, I want to create a new contact in my CRM application that is Zoho CRM. So here I want to do this automatically and for that I need to simply build a connection between Google Ads and Zoho CRM. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pavli Connect, whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically it will create a new contact in Zoho CRM. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can create Zoho CRM contact for Google Ads lead. So for every new lead generated through Google Ads, I want to automatically create a contact in Zoho CRM. So this will make it easier to manage customer relationships and track interactions. So as the lead enters Zoho CRM, I can assign follow-ups, set reminders and ensure personalized communications. And this will help me to improve conversion rates and give me a central location to monitor all my Google ads generated leads. So here, what I want to do is I want to connect my CRM application, which is Zoho CRM with Google ads. And now whenever a new lead is going to get generated through Google ads for my business, then automatically I want to add that lead as a new contact in my CRM application that is Zoho CRM. So here I'm going to build this connection between Google ads and Zoho CRM and that too without any coding and programming skills. So here for that, I need to use Pavli Connect. And now with Pavli Connect, I'm going to build this connection between Google ads and Zoho CRM. And also I'm going to build this automation. So here for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and I need to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here in the landing page, I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then you can just click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundred free tasks every month. Or if you already have an account or you are an existing user, then you can just click on sign in. And you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this Excel Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, I need to create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to create Zoho CRM contact for Google ads lead. Now I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here in this tab, I'm going to find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account. And here I have this particular folder of automation. So I'm going to select that. And now I need to click on create. And it will direct us to this most important window for our workflow. And here in this window, I have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principle on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow. And action is just going to follow that. So here we need to first set up our trigger and here I can only set up single trigger step and multiple action steps. So here for setting up my trigger, what I need to do is I need to search for my trigger application and here I'm going to use Google ads as my trigger application. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Google ads here. Now I have to give my trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new lead form entry is going to be my trigger event. So I'm going to select that. And now I need to connect Google ads with Pabli Connect in my workflow. And for that, I'm going to use this Vabook URL. So this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Google ads and Pabli Connect. And for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. So here first I have to copy this Vabook URL. And now with the help of this Vabook URL, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my lead form that I've added in my campaign in Google ads. And right now I'm not running any live campaign on my Google ads account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect a test lead form. And as I will connect that form with Pabli Connect, I'm going to get the responses of the new form submission whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through that form here in Pabli Connect. So here for that, I'm going to take it to my Google ads account. 
and here in my Google Ads account, I have created this lead form. So I need to connect this lead form and through this lead form, I'm going to receive the new leads and I'm going to receive those leads in my Pabbly Connect account. So here for connecting this form with Pabbly Connect, I need to scroll down and here I have this option of lead delivery option. So I need to open this tab and here in this tab, I have these two options of Webhook URL and the key. So here first I have to give the Webhook URL. So I'm going to add my Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabbly Connect. So I'm going to paste that here and now I have to give my key. So here I'm going to give a name to my Webhook so that I can identify my Webhook and here this key is going to be the name of my Webhook. So I'm going to name it as test. And now that I have added my required details, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Webhook URL for sending the test data and with the test data, I'm going to send that test lead data through this form or through Google ads to Pabbly Connect and I'm going to receive my test lead or my test lead data from Google ads. So here for sending the test data, I need to click on send test data button. And here my test data has been sent successfully. So this means that I have sent the data of my new lead through Google ads to Pabbly Connect. So to check this, let me take you to Pabbly Connect. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is my response of my new lead that I've received through Google ads. And as I've received this detail, so this means that I have successfully connected Google ads with Pabbly Connect. Now, whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through my lead form in Google ads, then automatically I'm going to receive that response of that lead here in Pabbly Connect. So here I have all the detail of my lead and these are all the test data. So here I have my city that is Mountain View. So this is my test city. Also, I have my test email that is test at the rate example.com. I have the random phone number of my lead. I have the first name of my lead and I have the last name. So here we can see that these are all the test data of my lead and I have received these details from my lead form through Google ads. Now that as we can see that I have received all the data of my lead through Google ads. Now what I want to do is I want to automatically use all these details of my lead and by using these details, I need to create a new contact in my CRM application that is Zoho CRM. So here for automatically creating a new contact in Zoho CRM, I need to set up my action step. And here first I need to search for my action application that is going to be Zoho CRM. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Zoho CRM here. Now I'm going to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create contact is going to be my action event. So I'm going to select that and I need to connect Zoho CRM with Pabbly Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I'm going to click on add new connection and now I have to click on connect with Zoho CRM. Now here for connecting Zoho CRM with Pabbly Connect, I need to first give my domain and here for getting my domain, I'm going to take you to my Zoho CRM account and I'm going to find my domain in my path URL. And as we can see, I have this particular domain of Zoho.in. So this is going to be my domain that I need for connecting Zoho CRM with Pabbly Connect. And now let me take you back to Pabbly Connect. And here I need to type my domain. So I'm going to type Zoho.in. And as I've added my domain, I'm going to click on save. And now here I have to scroll down and here I have to click on accept to give access to my account. So I'm going to do that. And here I have successfully connected Zoho CRM with Pabbly Connect. Now here for creating a new contact, I need to fill all these details. And now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the detail or all the response of my Google ads. And from that response, I'm going to get my lead detail. And as I will get those details of my lead, I'm going to map those details here in these tabs. So here I'm going to use the detail of my lead from my previous tab of Google ads and I'm going to map those details by using mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So here first I have to select the lead source. So I'm going to open this tab and here I have all these sources. So I'm going to select my lead source as advertisement. So I'm going to select that and now I have to give the first name and the last name of my lead. So I'm going to map that here. So I have to click here. I'm going to open this response of Google ads and here first I have to give the first name of my lead. So this is the first name of my lead. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to map the last name. So I'm going to open this response of Google ads and here this is the last name. So I'm going to map that. Now I'm going to map the email address of my lead. So I need to click here. I'm going to open this response of Google ads and here this is the email address. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to give the phone number and now I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to give the city. So I'm going to map that too. And now here we can see I have filled all the required details of my lead that I have received through Google ads response. 
So here I've only filled the details that I've received through Google Ads and I have all these other tabs too, but I'm not receiving these details. So I'm just leaving these tabs blank. And here as I map these details, I made all these details dynamic. Now what will happen is that every time I'm going to receive a new lead detail from Google Ads, then automatically all these details that I've mapped here will get replaced with the new lead detail in the real time. And with every new lead that I'm going to receive through Google Ads, I will create a new contact in Zoho CRM. Now that I've filled all the required details, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on save and send test quit button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have successfully created a new contact in my Zoho CRM application and I have created this contact by using the detail of my lead that I've received through Google Ads. So to check whether I've created a new contact in Zoho CRM or not, let me take you to Zoho CRM. And in Zoho CRM, I will go to contacts and here in contacts, we can see I've just created this new lead as a contact that is named as first name, last name. So this was my test lead name. I have the email that is test at the rate example.com and I have this random phone number. So I'm going to open this lead and here we can see I have all these details of my contact. So I have the email that is test at the rate example.com. I have the random phone number of my lead. I have the contact name that is first name, last name. Also here I have the city that is Mountain View. So here we can see that these are all the details of my test lead that I've received through Google Ads and automatically by using the detail of that lead through Google Ads, I have created a new contact in my Zoho CRM application. So here I've successfully created a new contact in Zoho CRM with Google Ads lead. Now I have done this automatically by setting up this automation between Google Ads and Zoho CRM. And now what is going to happen is that every time I want me to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically by using the detail of that lead, it will create a new contact in my Zoho CRM application. So here with Pabli Connect, I have automatically created this automation to create Zoho CRM contact for Google Ads lead. Now here I have created this automation with the help of Pabli Connect and I have built this connection between Google Ads and Zoho CRM. Now let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here with Pabli Connect, I have connected Google Ads with Zoho CRM to automatically create Zoho CRM contact for Google Ads lead. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Ads and my trigger event was new lead form entry. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Zoho CRM and my action event was create contact. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this with Pabli Connect. If you want to reach out to us, then you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any issues or queries related to our workflow, then you can check the forum link. And if you have any issues related to the pricing of Pabli Connect or Pabli, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.